So I learned the uh, the following technique from a rather wonderful chap by the name of Eric Ho. Many of you, I would think, have come across him on YouTube. Uh, if you haven't, do check him out. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to be attending one of his seminars uh, in a couple of weeks' time in London. He uh, absolutely is a, a follower of many disciplines, um, has learnt various different uh, ideas and methods from uh, gurus around the world, and he's also been su hugely successful in business. Now, one of the techniques uh, that I saw him do on a YouTube video not so long ago that I've now applied into my uh, not necessarily daily practice, but quite regular practice, is a method of breathing that uh, creates energy. And I think he would talk about it, about um, uh, boosting your aura. In other words, you know, creating this, this energy field, electromagnetic energy field around you. It doesn't matter how you look at it, it makes you feel good. <laughs> and um, I would imagine this in part comes from Tai Chi, um, possibly areas of, of yoga, but I will drop the microphone in a second and uh, we will do this method. And one of the interesting things actually, I, I did this the other day and uh, in the kitchen and my son was watching. And after this breathing technique, I then pressed my hand against his chest. And he said, Dad, Daddy, that feels really good. Now, this could be psychosomatic, but I think the wonderful thing about children is that if there's one thing they're capable of doing that we often lose the, the power or ability to do is that they can pick up on um, uh, energy, they can pick up on positive um, vibes, negative vibes, etc. more so than we can because they're able to tap into that. Um, so there's definitely something in this and it makes you feel good. So that's, that's a blimming good reason to do it in my opinion. It's a very deep breathing technique of which you have to um, do 108, I don't know why, 108 of these particular breaths. And I'll run through it now. I'll speed it up in the middle so that you don't have to endure me breathing 108 times because it'll probably take a good 10 minutes. I, I think this must come from something like Tai Chi because there is this, this arm movement um, that encourages the energy to flow up your body and then out um, uh, to your sort of all, like an outer circle, an outer perimeter. state hold 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 Ugh. <sighs> 
So, wow. Like I say, it doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter whether you believe in energy, the creation of energy, law of attraction. The first thing you need to know is that blimmin' feels good. Uh, for me, I do believe in the creation of, of energy. I know that we're made up of energy, the, the electromagnetic magnetic frequencies, the light energy that we have pulsing through us. It doesn't matter whether you believe in that or not. And I think, um, by the way, Joe Dispenza's book, um, Being Supernatural, really does go into the science and the quantum physics behind all that. So worth a read if you haven't. But as I say, it doesn't matter what you believe in. No one know that that really feels good. It does feel like you have uh, an, a kind of an, an energy flowing through your body. Now, this could be, of course, the same physiology or physiological experiences similar to that when you're doing the Wim Hof method, the power breathing creates that hypoxic um, experience. This isn't hypoxia, I know that, but obviously you are doing something to the blood flow in your body, the oxygen in your body. Either way, I would offer this out to you guys as a, a brilliant thing to add into your morning routine you may or may not want to do it every day but for me whenever I do do it it feels amazing <laughs> even better when you do it amongst nature anyway evolution of Dave signing off thank you for watching